Guys, without wasting any much of your time, let's quickly get right into the gist of this particular video. Um, a lot happened last night, starting from all the crazy shit that happened during the party and how OC exposed Kelly Ray's weakness. Abi, should I call it Kelly Ray's weak point? Detail of all of that and many more I'll be sharing in this particular video. So if you really do not want to miss out from any part of it, kindly go ahead, watch to the end of this particular video, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell button. Do not forget to like and share my video with your friends and loved ones that like big brother gist. I'm gonna be smart, you know, starting from the party. Ladies and gentlemen, to be quite frank with all of you guys, I expected that yesterday's Saturday night party was going to be the best Saturday night party in Big Brother Nigeria Season 9 Mansion. Owing to the fact that they had best pool party of the season, best wager presentation of the season, and I was expecting that this Saturday night party was going to be the best Saturday night party of the season. So that we now say that this week is the best week of the season. Guys, to be quite frank with all of you guys, the energies of this housemate, it was quite high to give us best Saturday night party of the season. But ladies and gentlemen, the little fault and the little problem that made it personally to me to seem as though, you know, we do not have the best Saturday night party of the season is the DJ. Guys, this DJ, hmm, like she is a very, very good DJ, no cap. Like the way she will be doing this. Guys, like the DJ will use her hand to set the dance floor on fire and she will still be the one that will quench the fire by herself because honestly speaking, for the housemates, their energy we are at 100. It was the DJ that made it seem as though you know last night party was not the best because her transition in the way she was transitioning from heated music to a slow music to a traditional music guys like at some point i was just like dj your constant effort to kill the vibe of this housemate is not working out as the housemate we are seriously rocking and dancing to every beat that she played she played christian song she played traditional music she played um hip-hop she played around guys like there was nothing that she did not play but this housemate they actually gave it their best so the housemate gave the party their best but the dj decided you know to forehand guys honestly speaking last night party was so so dramatic more than dramatic because my good people of god the way handy rocked ozzy last night guys at some point i was just asking myself uh -uh, where is all this energy coming from because guys this is the very first time i am seeing handy and ozzy dance the way they dance last night and to be quite frank there was something that i really discovered last night when the party started my good people of god no be smoking no oc onyeka and ozi they were at one corner dancing handy wani and sean they were at their own corner victoria kelly ray and cassia they were at their own corner dancing and vibing suj and tofa ladies and gentlemen they are two initially when the party started they were seriously dancing and having fun with themselves Anita and Nelly, they were in the midst of other housemates dancing. Honestly speaking, seeing Tofa and Suj, the way they were dancing when the party started, I was just like, yes, this is needed. After that little altercation that, you know, wanted to happen between them when they were doing that, they are getting next task. Honestly speaking, I like how, you know, Suj met Tofa and they were all dancing it out, having fun, enjoying themselves. So, at that particular point in time, these housemates, they were dancing with the people People that they are mostly connected with in the house, excluding Nelly and Aneta. So before you now know it, so we started seeing whispering between Handy and Victoria. Honestly speaking, what they were whispering, I did not know what it was all about. And guys, I needed, in fact, I wanted to find out, but there was no way I could find out. So after the whispering, Victoria was now dancing towards where Ozzy, Ozzy and Onyeka were. Before you now know it, we now started seeing Ozzy going to whisper something to Victoria. Guys, like, all the whispering that we were whispering last night, we couldn't even, in fact, at some point, I was just asking, could these people even turn on the volume of their microphone so that we could at least hear what they are whispering to each other? But ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't hear, so I did not know exactly what Ozzy was telling Victoria. After the whispering between Ozzy and Victoria, before you now know it, the way and the all of a sudden took over 
Ozzy and was seriously rocking, dancing, having fun with Ozzy. It got me like wondering, how did Hadina manage to snatch Ozzy from Victoria and Onyeka? Because earlier it was Ozzy shuffling between Victoria and Onyeka. And he had a very smooth operation between Onyeka and Victoria because Victoria was not just going anywhere. She was just there standing and waiting for Ozzy to come back to her. And Onyeka was dancing with Ozzy's twin brother, Ozzy. So anytime he decides or anytime he wants, he will go from Victoria to Onyeka. And he was not having his smooth operation. Then as at the moment when Handy decided to have Ozzy for herself, the way they were now dancing was Ozzy with Andy, Ozzy with Onyeka, Sean and Wani, Anita and Tofa, Nelly and Suj. Cassia was shuffling between Victoria and Kelly Ray. Then Dr. TJ was all over the place like there wasn't anybody that Dr. TJ didn't dance with in that party hall. Guys, before you now know it too, people started operating at some point. When Onyeka went to dance with Sean, it was as though there was a switch because as at that particular point in time, Handy and Wani were dancing with O.C. and Ozzy. Guys, Onyeka was not dancing with Sean. Before you now know it too, Ozzy was not dancing with Victoria. Osi was not dancing with Handy. Guys, the way Handy was dancing with Osi. Guys, I was just asking myself, oh, wait a minute, wait a bit. These people, they are not just, in fact, they were dancing as though they have something fishy going on for them. Immediately, Handy and Osi were dancing. Guys, if you see the way Wani ran and dragged Sean out from Onyeka and was rocking and kissing and doing a lot with Sean. Guys, I was just like, oh, crap. This is a very, very dramatic night. Guys, that was how Onyeka was not dancing with everybody. Like, there was nobody that Onyeka did not dance with on that dance hall. She even danced with the dancers. Like, the way she was, you know, demonstrating and doing with the dancers, I was just like, uh-uh, Onyeka, take it easy. Take it easy. Wait till we all of these ones. Guys, so, hmm, the one that really shocked and surprised me was how Ozzy was dancing with Victoria, but still had his eyes on Onyeka, like the way he was having his eyes on Onyeka, not allowing or guys like when Onyeka was dancing with Suj and at some point they were hugging each other, it was as though um, Ozzy went to warn Suj or went to tell Suj to be, guys I don't even know what Ozzy went to whisper to Suj, it was as though Ozzy would be dancing with Victoria, but his eyes and monitoring is on Onyeka, that was what I observed. Then after the party, guys, there was a conversation that happened at the changing area. And the people that were having that conversation were O.C., Onyeka, and Kelire. It was O.C. telling Onyeka how he had discovered um, Kelire's weak point. Just listen to what he said. Today told me something. Yeah. I've been cursing this guy for eight weeks or nine weeks. He has never been angry. The minute I just mentioned Kelire's name, oh my guy won't kill me. <laughs> my guy won't mod me. So I was like, okay, that's a no go. Yeah. But if I won't miss it, say me, you know, they go that side. But do you know how it is? Do you know how it is? Do you know how it is? I know it is. Osi was telling Onyeka that ever since this big brother Nigeria season 9 started that there is nothing he has not done to Kelire to provoke Kelire. In fact, he said he have insulted Kelire, dragged Kelire, do a manner of things to Kelire and Kelire maintained his calmness. But the moment he mentioned Cassia, that the way Kelire changed it for him, that Kelire would have told him that Cassia is his no go area. It is what he shouldn't use to play with him. Guys, like the conversation really got me cracking up to the extent I was just like, mm -hmm, I must come here and do the amiibo for you guys. Did you all hear the conversation? What is your thought on that? This is where I'll be ending this particular video.